Don't let life give you any lemons. Create it with a crate. Welcome back to Airbros of USA in conjunction with Pelicans.com. Today I create the crate. Let's do the unboxing. This is a new air gun all the way from Air Max Arms. And guys, let me tell you one thing. I've opened up this box just to have a look at it. And boy, oh boy, this thing is beautiful. So let's stop talking and let's open it up and let's check what you get inside. So it comes in a box, but look at this. It comes in a hard carry case. So let's get the box out of the way. Throw that one side. Let's open up this beautiful thing. Mm, look at this. Wow. The, you get different models of the Create. Okay, you get the X and you get the normal long and then you get the small one. So we've got the small and the long here with us. So have a look at that. This one, it's still to come. So this one hasn't been launched as yet, but this one will come. But that's the one we have now at the moment and that will be the shorty. So yeah, the lengths I'll tell you just now. So this is going to be pretty decent i can't wait i can't wait so obviously you get your little manual inside here it shows you how to use everything and it gives you the specs warnings what to do and what not to do and we'll go through that just now but look at that they even give you a card to show you that they've shot it and it is look that is pretty decent okay let's get this out of the way let's take this thing one side here you get a Full station guys look at that that looks pretty cool so it's got a full probe not a quick coupler get extra o-rings and this one is quite nice and decent because it's a restrictor so if your bottle when you do open it up goes balls to the wall that one will restrict it so you won't pop seals and so on which is quite nice then you get like a little book booklet here showing you all the different makes and models from Air Max. so with all the Catrans and the parts and so on but Let's take the star of the show, guys. Look at this. How nice is this? I got, this thing is really, really short. I mean, come on. Let me, let me open up the specs. All right, so they say your overall length, okay? The one that we've got now is 705 millimeters. And the barrel length on this one is 520 millimeters, all right? So it does have, if you have a look at the end here, you can put on additional silencer. It's got these modular style silencer bits that you can put on and off. Um, it's got Picatinny rails on the side and on the top. So it's got a 20 MOA rail for your scope. So you don't need to buy adjustable scope rails and all those other funny things. Um, more or less, we can go through to the side where you can change your cocking lever from the left to the right. This thing is truly ambidextrous, so you can shoot left or right handed. Um, the only other thing that's not ambidextrous, it's just got a little piece here. If you can have a look at that, see that piece there on your grip, All right? That's for your thumb up, but I'm sure you'll be able to shoot with it. Yeah, no, for sure. You'll be able to shoot with left handed as well. Even right handed is pretty cool. So yeah, it will work. In my opinion, it will work. So to be honest, Guys, you can change it, the cocking lever from the left to the right, which is fantastic. There is new features of this. One thing that I can tell you about this bullpup, I think it's in a different class. Compared to all the other bullpups out there, I mean, this thing is pretty decent. Can I tell you why? They have got an adjustment right here. This gun is regulated, by the way. So if you have a look at that, right there. That will be your regulator adjustment. So it's got like a little Allen key in the inside and it's got a nut on the outside. So what's nice about this, while you want to adjust up or down, you do not have to degas this air gun. That is a new thing for all these air guns out there. All bigger name manufacturers, brands out there, you have to degas it when you go up or down. This one you don't. They claim you don't have to which I think is a plus point if you want to chop and change. And you know what? It's outside, so you don't have to worry about, you know, opening up the gun, adjusting here and adjusting there. You can do it from the outside, on the fly, which is quite nice. So you've got a trigger here, which is on the left-hand side of the air gun. 
you can always change it to the right if you need so like i said truly ambidextrous um, two stage trigger match stage trigger here so you can adjust the first stage or the second stage however you want which is also pretty decent this grip right here is very very nice it's not a plastic grip it's a rubber grip and it feels nice in the hands guys this gun and this i mean this air gun is really fantastic i can't stop talking about it but anyway if we go more backwards to the back here see another thing that they've got is this has got a double anti-load system there's no other bullpups that can do this except if you look at the day states but they used to do it not anymore i don't know why they stopped it but anyway it's their loss this one has got a double anti-loading system which is cool on a bullpup guys ah! ah can't get oh it's so flipping fantastic this thing look at that buttstock so you can just tighten it down if you need to whatever length you need you can adjust your cheek piece up or down and then right there you can adjust your hammer spring tension up or down depending on what speed you want to shoot so you can adjust that with your regulator so remember if you adjust your regulator up you're going to get lower shotgun and if you adjust your regulator lower you'll get lower speeds but more shotgun so you're going to have to find the balance with your hammer spring so which is pretty nice about this thing um yeah more of it it's got a fluted barrel if you have a look at that this is super sick this is one beautiful bullpup right there it's so small but let me take out the smaller one just now and show you and compare it to the two and show you the dis well the lengths and so on okay so here we go so i got the crate l and the normal crate so look at that distance and that size there so the difference between the two all right you're gonna have this one with a 300 mil bottle 300 cc bottle sorry with a 400 mil barrel then this one will have the 520 barrel with a 480 cc bottle so yeah let's go check it out so they all charge up to 300 bars they say that's the safest way to charge it up so let's see what shot count we can get out of it and um yeah what speed we can get so i'm pretty darn flipping excited i just want to shoot but yeah it's very pointable guys look at that very small this one almost feels like a like a handgun you know you can always just like hide it quickly and be like what's up guys just take it out and bam 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 <laughs> enough of that let's go have fun okay so i've installed all my goodies got the longer bipod rail on the front here it comes with a picatinny rail look at that it's on there so i put my picatinny with this accutac bipod then it's got the arca rail right here so we'll show you in different pictures just now how that looks when it's on the stand and obviously your nice little bag right at the back here with a monopod adjustment for height up and down at the back there so i've adjusted my um, butt pad a little bit backwards as well my cheek piece i left at the same height i didn't adjust it up or down and um, nice to know that you can't double load this thing which is flipping fantastic i love it i love it i love it i love it guys um yeah so like also installed let's show you quickly how this works take out the magazine here put it on safe this is your magazine and there's your magazine holder look at that so you can hold the extra two mags on this thing and it's not in the way it's pretty nice and tucked away so if you need it so you can just push it out there you can see that there let's get the camera to focus look at that that looks fantastic so you can have two there and one inside there to go and shoot with so you just push it out and that's that look at that it's got a 60 cc plenum in here so this thing is going to pack quite a punch yummy all right just a quick one have a look at this it comes in a hard carry case but it fits with the scope well done great job guys you've done it again look at that it can fit with its scope in the box you don't need to go and buy any other boxes or anything whatsoever look at that fantastic love it so i've got the crate long at 50 meters i'm going to shoot the jsb 18 grains 
So five shot grouping, let's check how it does. That was the last shot. Um, guys, as you can see, that was a flipping superb grouping down there. I mean, with a short gun like this, air gun, you're getting that flipping fantastic grouping down there. What more is there to say about this thing? Uh, you saw the decibel meter. I mean, the loudest was running 103 decibels. I mean, it's not that loud. It sounds very loud, but it's not at all. Uh, you've got a chance to put on a external silencer if you want to but i don't think you need it it's very compact um it's very very nice it, the regulator is set on 100 bar this side and you get about roughly 96 shots per fill from 300 all the way down to 100 you can get more or you can get less depending on what your settings are but at this setting that i just took it out of the box it shoots 96 shots per fill on the 480 so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get the um crate short the very smaller one i'm going to do a, sh a five shot grouping on the right and then obviously i'm going to do slugs with this one as well straight out of the box no settings no nothing i'm going to do a five shot grouping at the bottom of the gong or at the top it depends on where i can check i'll do it at the top of the gong so we'll see you now okay i got the crate long here and i'm shooting the 23 grains h&n's 218 slugs standard haven't changed anything Let's do a five shot grouping at 50 meters. 17. Wow, that is pretty decent. This thing is blowing my socks off. Really. Goodness. All right, let's take the short and let's do a five shot grouping on the right of the gong. Okay, we've got the crate small. We're going to do a five shot grouping down at 50 meters. And I'm using the JSB Hades 15.89s. So, yeah, let's do a five shot grouping, guys. 854. Yeah, stock standard out of the box, guys. Um, 101. Obviously, you can make the gun a bit quieter, putting on a silence in the front here, but as is, it's pretty decent. Let's go and have a look at those groupings downrange. Okay, I'm going to shoot that pink can down there. Oh, sick man! That was pretty cool. Ha! This thing is pretty darn awesome. Love it. Okay, so we are at 50 meters um, down at the range. Uh, this was the 18 grains with the crate long that is a flipping fantastic grouping there's a five shot grouping 
Then with that same air gun, I also did that five shot grouping, which is not bad. Remember, this wasn't adjusted or anything, straight out of the box, that's how I shot it. Then with the um, create, the create, then with the create compact, I shot five shot grouping there with the Hades. So unadjusted, I didn't change anything. Those guns are superb. You get about out of both of them about a hundred shots uh, plus minus, you know. And the nicest thing about it, it's got a 16 shot magazine, double anti loading. It's got the adjustment that you can do on the outside, you know, without degassing the gun, which is a plus point. A 300 bar fill. Um, it's got a regulator that they both set at 100 bars. Uh, you can adjust it as you wish. Um, it's got so much adjustability, these guns. Um, they are flipping fantastic. They're fabulous. If you want a truck slug air gun, these are the ones to go for. They are very compact, both of them. They are super, super small. And they are powerhouses, you understand. So I must also say this Athlon scope that we had on here today did a superb job. Really, it was fantastic. This Athlon scope, guys, come down to pelagons.com and come check it out. Pick it up, check through it. You'll see how crystal clear that glass is. It's phenomenal. Really, these guns blow my mind. It is super, super, super accurate. And you know what? You don't need a slug barrel. You can shoot slugs or pellets out of these things, man. This is the way to go. No tinkering, nothing. Just pick it up, put pellets in, and all slugs, and go and shoot and have fun. That's the whole main of the game, you know? Pick it up, go shoot. Don't want to spend like 10 years adjusting the thing to come right and then, ah, let me not even go on there. But anyway, I love these guns. They tick each and every single box on my list that I have. Um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this beautiful air gun video that we've put here together today. Please like, share and subscribe. Tell all your mates about it and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, man. Bye.